In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to calculate the balance outstanding or the balance remaining on a mortgage or a loan. Now here's a fairly common situation and you're more than welcome to manipulate these numbers so that it suits your problem. So the question reads, assume you take on a mortgage for $320,000 amortized for 30 years at an interest rate of 5.2% compounded monthly. If monthly payments are made, what is the balance outstanding after five years? That is immediately after the 60th payment. Now this question is a little unusual in the sense that the interest rate is being compounded monthly. Usually with mortgages, it's compounded semi-annually. So the calculation would change just a little bit in that situation. But otherwise, it's a fairly basic problem. Now the very first thing that you want to do here is find out the amount that you're paying per month. And we can do that by solving for R in the very first formula. So our present value is $320,000. R will represent each month's payments. And for now, we don't know what that is. Our interest rate is compounded monthly. So I'll take 5.2% and divide that by 12. So let's go ahead and do that. 5.2 divided by 12 makes 0.43 repeating percent per month. And you do have to divide this by 100% so that it becomes a decimal. And so we have 0 0.0043 repeating. N is the number of periods. So since it is being compounded monthly, we take 12 and we multiply that by the number of years that this mortgage is being amortized, which is 30. 12 times 30 is 360. So now we have everything we need to substitute into this formula and solve for R. So our present value is 320,000 is equal to R, that's our unknown. And within the brackets, we have one minus one plus our interest rate of 0 0.0043 repeating, raised to the power of negative 360 over 0 0.0043 repeating. And we will need to apply a little bit of algebra to solve for R. So what you can do is compute all of what you see on the right and take whatever you get and divide 320,000 by that number. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll take 320,000 and divide it by that entire expression. And that will give us a value for R. So 320, and in parentheses, or in brackets in this case, we have that expression. 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.0043 Notice that I incorporated more threes, raised to the power of negative 360, and in the denominator position, 0 0.00433, a couple of more. Close parentheses, and we end up getting 1,757 decimal 15. So that is how much you are paying every month for the next 60 months. Now we're ready to find the balance. So the balance is found by taking the amount of compound interest on the 320,000 that you have acquired as a loan and subtracting from that the accumulated value of what we just calculated after 60 payments. Now if that's confusing to you, here's what I mean. So we'll use this formula to find out how much interest is accumulated on the 320,000. And after we find that, we will subtract from that the accumulated value of having to pay this much for the next 60 months, plus interest. Let's go ahead and find out what the future value is of 320,000. So the present value, or PV, is 320,000 multiplied by one plus that number that we found, 0 0.0043 repeating, and we raise that to the power of 60 because there are 60 payments. And I'll subtract that from the accumulated value of these payments that we're making every month using the second formula. Let me go ahead and write that down. So we have 1757.15 
and it was 1 plus our interest of 0 0.0043 repeating. Raise that to the power of 60 minus 1 over 0 0.0043 repeating. So we're finding the future value of this loan after 60 periods and subtracting from that the amount of interest that you would accumulate if you put 1,757.15 into an account every month and accumulating interest on that. Let's use our calculator and do this all in one step, which we can if you have a good scientific calculator like this one. So I have 320,000 times 1 plus 0 0.004, and you want to be consistent with the amount of threes that you put last time. So last time we put five threes, so we'll do that again. Raise that to the power of 60, minus, and now the other expression, 1757.15, close, and now we have to put this entire expression into our calculator. Luckily I have this feature where I can put in fractions, and we close and we'll find out the balance remaining. So the balance outstanding is what you see on the calculator display. So I'll copy that, paste it right there. So this is how much is outstanding after five years of making a payment that's this large every month. You can even take this a step further by subtracting this from 320,000 and what you get is how much has been paid towards the principal in five years. That's all I have for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Talk to you all later.